Since 2018, the LibTech Orca has been a staple in snowboarding and has helped drive the progression of snowboard technology. As the years went on, we saw a variety of different Orca models hit the market, which may have made it confusing to find the perfect board. So in this video, we'll be breaking down the differences of each Orca model to help you find exactly what you need. What's up? I'm Shane Serrano, coming to you from Radio Board Shop in Aspen, Colorado. And today we're going to be checking out the Orca, the Golden Orca, and the Apex Orca. In all of these boards, you'll find an all-mountain directional shape meant to ride everywhere. And while we'll get into the differences in specifications of each of these boards, they are all built with LibTech's C2X hybrid profile, which means you get a shorter rocker section in the middle of the board and camber underfoot. With this profile, the rocker section gives you a more forgiving ride in terms of edge catch while also giving you more float and powder. The camber underfoot adds stability to the board, while the serrated magnet traction edge provides for great grip, especially where it may have been lost in the rocker zone. Starting off with the original Orca, this is going to be a great choice for any level of rider. And with sizes ranging from a 138 all the way up to a 162, this board is made to be ridden for as many different riders as possible. Now, the Orca is a volume shifted board, which means it is designed to be ridden three to six centimeters shorter than your normal length snowboard. For instance, I'm six foot, 150 pounds, and I typically ride a 158 centimeter length snowboard. But in the Orca, I've had a lot of fun riding both the 150 and the 153. One of the reasons you're able to downsize with this board is because of how wide it is. In the 156, you get a waist width of 267 millimeters, which allows you to fit a pretty big boot size, which would be somewhere around a size 12 for this board, depending on the boot. This really helps riders of different sizes find the perfect board. For example, if you had a teenage rider who had big feet, but wasn't that big in terms of height and weight, the Orca would work perfect because they would have a ride that is wide enough for their foot, but it wouldn't be too overpowering for their size. Overall, this is a surfy feeling ride of a board that is fun all over the mountain. And having a nose that is 11 millimeters wider than the tail, in addition to a seven meter side cut radius, you'll be able to initiate carves easily while fluidly transferring edges, making this such a fun turning board. With a stance that is set back two and a half inches, you get a much longer nose than tail to help keep you floating more effortlessly in the deepest of snow. The Orca retails for $699.99. For any of these models, you can help support local snowboarding by finding them all at radioboardshop.com. Stepping up to the Golden Orca, we'll find a slightly different ride. Compared to the standard Orca, the Golden is designed more with a freestyle spirit. This has been the main board Travis Rice has been riding the last few seasons and his choice pick for competing in the natural selection tour. With the stance set back at one inch, this board will be more ideal for switch riding. The lift on the Power King tail also helps with switch takeoffs and landings, especially when spinning. The Golden Orca is still a volume shifted board, but suggested at downsizing between one and three centimeters. It is about two millimeters narrower than the Orca, with a 265 millimeter waist width on the 157, and has a little less taper, having a nose that is nine millimeters wider than the tail. The biggest difference in specs is that the Golden has a side cut radius of eight meters. That'll make this board have a more elongated carve compared to the tighter turning radius of the Orca. You get an upgraded core with what LibTech calls their firepower construction in the Golden Orca. This gives you a carbon X inlay, which you will not see in the Orca's horsepower construction. This helps the board to be more responsive, driving a quicker exchange of energy from your feet to the contact points of the board. You'll also have lightweight spin slim tips, which helps to give a lighter swing weight to the board. The Golden Orca comes in sizes 150, 153, 157, 161, and retails at $849.99. And moving on to the Mac Daddy of the lineup, we have the Apex Orca. This snowboard is based off the original Orca and will share all the same specs aside from its construction. And it's the techno pop construction that makes this board so special. Where the first boards were made with 60% Aspen and 40% Polonia woods, the Apex is made with 30% Aspen, 25% Polonia, and 45% PET recycled bottles. This hybrid wood core is wrapped with magnesium fiber bands, which creates a more lightweight board overall, in addition to keeping it as durable as need be. Additionally, there is a unidirectional layup of carbon and a carbon mega X. What's cool about this construction is that it adds to the overall look and graphic of the board 
as it can be seen right through the top sheet. On the nose and tail, you'll see the antimatter 3D tips to pull more swing weight off the board. If all this is confusing, all you need to know is that this construction creates a board that is lighter weight, snappier, more responsive, and creates a ride with more energy. On all these boards, you'll get LibTech's knife cut center base to make sure these boards are riding fast. This was a little surprising to me as I was expecting to see a more premium base on the Apex compared to the others. Just as in the standard Orca, you can downsize this board three to six centimeters and it comes in sizes 150, 153, 156, 161, and retails for $1,299.99. Breaking it all down, here's what you need to know. The Golden Orca is gonna be for the rider who likes to go everywhere, especially in a freestyle mentality. Whether that's boosting side hits, spinning into powder, or even dipping into the park. The Golden will also be a better choice for the person who likes to ride switch a little more often. The Orca is going to be for almost everyone else. Be it the beginner, the powder hound, the resort cruiser, and even the backcountry explorer. The Orca is also going to be a better choice for the person who has trouble finding the right board for their size, like the teenager I mentioned before. The Apex Orca is for the boarder who wants the most premium ride. This will either be for the person who already knows they love the standard Orca, or for that rider who wants the most lightweight, responsive board out of these models. To get a more in-depth look at product tips like this, make sure you're following our free weekly newsletter. The Shred Letter is where you can find the latest snowboard news and stories from our shredding dropped right in your email news box. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see you somewhere on the mountain. Peace.